If you guys are just tuning in, there is a large industrial fire here near 15 Mile and Grosbeck. The police department has asked everyone in the area to stay away. Uh, you can hear the continuous explosions. Multiple departments are on scene. MSP, Clinton Township Fire and police doing their best to put this fire out. I don't know if you guys can see just the fire continuing to billow. There is fire on the floor of this building. There's fire on top. This is an industrial scale fire. Now these explosions, we're not exactly sure what they are being caused by, but every single time an explosion does happen, the community members here, uh, uh, they're shaken up and, and you can see their eyes kind of wide. And we just spoke with a few residents who say they live, you know, just a few miles away and still heard the explosion. They felt the explosion. They felt compelled to come out and see exactly what was going on. Of course, information still very preliminary as to what caused this and why this happened and exactly why it's continuing to explode and continuing to make these noises. So if you are in the area of 15 and Grosbeck, uh, police have asked everyone to stay away. We have been taken away to an area where it does feel like we are safe. Just bringing you the information as soon as we get it. But again, you guys, uh, if you're just tuning in a large industrial explosion where multiple community members are, are talking about their experiences and, and what they saw and what they heard. Um, anybody here in the crowd heard this from their homes uh, further away? So we have a few community members uh, who have, you know, personal experiences of hearing exactly what happened. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name? London. London, tell us what you heard. Um, I was actually leaving Partridge Mall and I was standing in the parking lot and I heard and I thought it was thunder and that was it. And then I ended up coming over here and then hearing the news on my way in the car. And when you hear explosion after explosion. Right, I thought it was thunder and I actually checked my weather app to see if it was supposed to storm or rain tonight and it wasn't and then that's when I heard about it. Wow. And yeah. So I want to just kind of pan the, the camera this way just so you guys can see how much of the community has showed up to see what's going on here. London, thank you so much for your time. I'm glad you're safe. Uh, families showing up, trying to get some answers, just like we are, to what exactly is going on here. But the road closures are extensive, mile after mile. So if you are in the area in Clinton Township, uh, that's why these roads are closed right now. That is why you need to stay away. You can see the fire department continuing to make their way closer to the fire, putting their lives in danger to keep the community safe. Uh, the smoke is, is not subduing. Uh, the flames, I would say, are, are only getting uh, stronger. We do have um, an aerial view for you to see just how large scale this fire truly is. Uh, it does not look like it is dying down anytime soon. Of course, we got the calls. We made our way down here as quickly as we could, but miles, for miles, roads were closed. So just make sure to keep that in mind if you are in the Clinton Township area. Uh, if you heard that, yet another explosion, kind of like a 4th of July parade, except very much not that an industrial fire creating explosion after explosion. We don't know exactly what's causing those explosions quite yet or what is in the air, uh, but but we'll make sure to keep you updated. Of course, uh, the roads closed here and from those explosions you can see small debris on the street so we don't know exactly what that debris is but we do know these firefighters are, are putting their lives on the line to keep us safe the uh, entire community very curious of course we will remain on scene for you to to just figure out some answers for you. Of course, as, as I mentioned, as we made our way towards here, uh, police were not talking to us, of course, just trying to keep uh, keep the peace and make sure that everyone's staying safe. I'll refer for another look behind us here. The only updates we are getting are from the Clinton Township Police Department Facebook, where again, they are asking for the community to stay away if you're not already in the area and that this is an industrial fire. They do have multiple departments on scene and they are doing their best to extinguish this. So just a little after 10 now, uh, we got reports of this just a little after nine, and that's what brought out community members here as well To They have their phones out, taking video, calling family members, telling uh, com community members about their experiences. And as you heard in the back there, just another explosion about what happened. And we're talking to community members about their personal experiences. Sir, what's your name? Alex, can you tell us what you heard and what brought you out here? So basically, I was driving and I just saw like a large fire and we just stopped to check it out. I mean, I was driving with one of my boys who we were going home. What color was the sky? Orange. 
that explains it. I mean, we heard that. That's pretty much what we heard. Yeah. And you can see kind of things popping up. Have Have you seen debris come down on the street? I mean, we've seen pretty much like all like the debris. There's like a canister right there in the street. Yeah. I mean, it's just a fire. Yeah. What What around what time did you kind of start to see the sky changing colors? Maybe like 20 minutes ago. We were coming back from like 16 and Grosbeck going back this way. Yeah. Did you have trouble getting over here with the road closures and police cutting off the area? We basically like made a left and then came in this parking lot. We just saw everybody here, so we just stopped to check it out. What goes through your head when you see, you know, all these departments and all these closures? Have you ever seen anything like this in the area before? I've seen a couple fires, but not not that many. Like not that many giant fires like this. What goes through your head when you see the firefighters just keep making their way closer towards the fire? I mean, it's kind of scary. I, I pray for their safety. All right, thank you so much, sir. I appreciate your time. Stay safe. Uh, of course, we're on scene here. If you're just joining us, a large scale industrial fire near 15 and Grossbeck in Clinton Township. We have an aerial view for you. We're also on scene where you can see firefighters trying their best to subdue these flames. The roads in the area are closed. Debris is covering the streets. And now police has made their way over to us. They are asking us to move even further back, which makes sense, given the fact that the debris is this close to us, just about maybe six feet behind me are pieces from this building, from this explosion. So again, police has made their way over here. They are asking everybody to return to their vehicles and make their way back. And I'll point you to the floor here just so you can see what's kind of happening. Pieces of building, uh, debris covering the grassy area and as well as the street. The continuous booms you hear, that's the explosion. That's the pieces of this building making their way closer. So we're going to get back on scene for you. Um, as police are asking us to move a bit further back, uh, we'll make sure to do that just to make sure we're staying safe and the surrounding community. Uh, but this entire scene really is uh, quite chaotic. Uh, the smoke continues to billow the fire is building these community members um, they're just letting us know of what they're seeing so I don't know exactly what the explosions are but this is kind of what we're finding I don't know exactly what this piece is but it's clearly broken off it's right at our feet here um, so I just want to make sure that you guys are seeing exactly what's coming from this building again some sort of explosion some sort of fire these pieces continuing to fall that is why this area is close to the public right now again near 15 and gross spec so as we continue to learn more information we're trying to keep you informed on the safety and the extreme uh, booms that keep happening I don't know if you can hear them, but they're almost like fireworks that are continuing to go off in this building. Crews are continuing to make their way inside the building.